1993, you had R&B groups like Shy, Can't Forget Silk, H-Town, Portrait, and the group Intro. Now, Intro was one of those groups that women were in love with as soon as they heard their voices on Wax or in concert live. The New Jack Swing era was just fading out and hip hop was taking over. The group Intro probably was one of the first R&B groups to even sing over hip hop beats. This story is about their lead vocalist, Kenny Green. Kenny Green was born on January 17, 1969 in Detroit, Michigan. Now Kenny's family were gospel musicians and he began singing in church at a young age. After graduating high school, Kenny enlisted in the army at the age of 18. While in the army, he would show his skills of singing and playing the piano at the military talent shows on bass. Now Kenny also met intro member Clinton Buddy White, who was also known on the bass for his singing talent during the time. Once friends introduced them to each other, they started hanging out and working on music together. Kenny ended up leaving the military after about three years of service, but Buddy stayed in. Now, Buddy hooked up with another friend named Jeff Sanders from back home in Brooklyn, who was looking to put a group together, but needed another singer for the group. So Buddy ended up calling Kenny, who was living in North Carolina at the time, and asked him to come down to New York to complete the group they were starting. Now in New York, Kenny, Buddy, and Jeff were practicing and rehearsed every day for about four months straight. They came up with the name Intro, which means innovative new talent reaching out. One night, while in the club, they ran into Heavy D and sang for him. Heavy liked what he heard and offered them a deal. They began working on songs with Heavy D and his producer, DJ Eddie F, in the studio. One of the first songs they featured on was Jamaican singer-rapper Shinehead's single titled Try My Love. Now see, Kenny Green was a gifted songwriter who could knock out a song in about an hour. He would also collaborate with another great songwriter named Dave Jam Hall who was part of the production team called The Untouchables, ran by DJ Eddie F at the time. Now, Intro was also on a remix of Jeff Red's hit, You Called and Told Me, for the Strictly Business soundtrack, which co-starred Holly Berry in the movie. Also during that time, P. Diddy was working with Mary J. Blige on her debut album, and she needed some songs. So the group Intro played some songs for her that they had already recorded for their album, which was Reminisce, Love No Limit, and My Love. Mary and P. Diddy, they begged them to give the songs to her, and so Intro agreed, and they sold it to her, which worked out great for Mary. Kenny Green also wrote Mary J. Blige's You Don't Have to Worry for the Who's the Man soundtrack. For his work with Mary J. Blige, Kenny and Dave Jam Hall, now see, Dave Jam Hall, wrote Mariah Carey's hit Dream Lover for the Music Box album. They both won the Songwriter of the Year Award from the American Society of Composers, Authors, and Publishers. They tied and shared that award with superstar producers Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, who won for their work on Janet Jackson's hit That's the Way Love Goes and If. In 1993, they released their self-titled debut album on DJ's Eddie F's Untouchable Slash Atlantic Records with the hits Love Thing, Let Me Be The One, and Come Inside, all of which broke the top 30 in the R&B charts. The song Ribbon In The Sky, a remake from Stevie Wonder, helped push that album to gold. Now, with the success of the album, the group toured two years straight non-stop. In 1995, Intro released their sophomore album titled New Life. The album failed to match the first album's success, but still had some good songs like Never Again, Funny How Time Flies, and Feels Like the First Time. Now, after that album didn't sell, the group continued working and touring as hip hop began to dominate the radio. Now, also around that time, right, Kenny Green had a falling out with the other members of the group he decided to leave and just try to do his music solo. 
Now, Kenny Green will continue working with other artists such as Tevin Campbell, Will Smith. He did a song with the rapper Cameron, 98 Degrees, Jason Weaver, rapper AZ, Soul For Real, Tyrese, and many more. But in July 2001, Kenny Green came out as being bisexual. And months later, in an interview with Sister Sister magazine, he revealed that he was suffering from AIDS. And on October 1st, 2001, Kenny Green died in New York City at the age of 32 due to the complications from AIDS. The two other members of Intro, Buddy and Jeff, said that they didn't know in the beginning if he was bisexual or gay, but the rumors grew and grew, and they didn't question it. His family didn't attend his wake, arranged by his friends in the studio, but he was honored by the United States Army and buried at Calverton National Cemetery on Long Island. He was 32 years old. R.I.P. Kenny Green.